They're everywhere. In TVs, laptops, smartphones or navigation systems. Liquid crystal displays, better known by the abbreviation LCDs. The liquid crystals that give the LCDs their name are responsible for directing the light through the screen. Every pixel contains them. With the usual resolution, the images of a screen consist of about 2 million picture elements, or pixels. The liquid crystals are placed between two polarizing filters. The color filters are responsible for colored images. They are aligned on top of the liquid crystal layer. When the TV, and thus the white background lighting, is switched on, the light waves, oscillating in all directions, encounter the first polarizing filter. There, only light waves of one particular oscillation plane are allowed to pass. Similar to a screw turning around on its own axis, the oscillation plane of the light waves is, simply speaking, rotated through the liquid crystals by 90 degrees. This corresponds exactly to the forward direction of the second polarizing filter. The light can pass. The pixel appears bright. Liquid crystals, however, can also switch off the light. When an electrical field is applied to the electrodes, the crystals align themselves parallel to it. The light can now pass them unhindered, but is then blocked by the second polarizing filter. Consequently, the corresponding pixel remains dark. Colouring also operates according to this basic principle. Red, green and blue. Every pixel consists of three tiny sub-pixels, which can be driven individually. Each sub-pixel contains a pigment in one of the three primary colours that acts as colour filter. Characteristics like colour purity, brightness and contrast depend on the properties of the colour pigments. Two large and irregular particles scatter light and change its polarization direction. Light leaks through the deactivated subpixels, contaminates colors, and reduces contrasts. The smaller and more regular the particles of a pigment, the lower the scattering and depolarization of light. The latest red color pigments from the Ergophor Red product family of BASF, for example, are not even 40 nanometers in size. They are so tiny that they hardly depolarize the light at all. This produces a particularly brilliant and high contrast image. The fact that we see red is easily explained. Only the red subpixels shine. All the others are switched off by the liquid crystals. If, however, light appears through the red and green subpixel while the blue is switched off, we perceive the color yellow. If the blue subpixel is now also switched on, all colors superimpose to give rise to a brilliant white. If, on the other hand, all subpixels are switched off, all we see is black. The white background light nevertheless continues to shine. In addition to switching the subpixels on and off, different light intensities are possible. Thus, millions of brilliant colors can be displayed. BASF. We create chemistry.